everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be um, a reminiscing over the Coachella that could have been. But before we get into the makeup look that I've created that you'll be seeing shortly, I wanted to let you know that today's video is brought to you by Vichy. Vichy is a skincare brand that is committed to the health of your skin as well as your overall health. And thanks to today's video and this partnership with Vichy, we were able to donate a total of $5,000. We were able to donate $2,500 to the St. Paul's Foundation in Vancouver, as well as the Toronto General Western Hospital Foundation here in Toronto. Both of them have set up COVID emergency response funds and we were able to donate $2,500 to each of them. So thank you so much Vichy for partnering with us on this video. I really hope you guys enjoy it. If you want to see how I created this look and what I would have worn to Coachella, then please do just keep on watching. So if you weren't aware already, Coachella was cancelled. Um, I went to Coachella three years ago in 2017 and had a lot of fun. It was, it was actually my first ever influencer press trip. Fun fact, um, and my outfits were very questionable. I had a blast, but I was new to this sweet little world and I was really looking forward to going this year and kind of just on a personal level redeeming myself. And uh, yeah, I was pretty upset. I was pretty sad that Coachella was canceled. So instead of being sad and moping about it, I decided to have my own Coachella here in my apartment. So that's what we're doing today. I'm gonna do my makeup as if I were going to Coachella here with you. Um, I've done my hair as if I were going to Coachella and I'm going to show you some of the outfits that I had begun preparing for Coachella and model them for you when this is all done. <laughs> Let's start with the maquillage. I'm gonna begin with the base using the Vichy Mineral 89 Serum. I'm gonna take two pumps of this and also a little dollop of my Drunk Elephant Deep Bronzy to bronze it up. I don't know if you can tell, but I have a remnant tan on, which is actually slowly, tragically peeling off my neck. My face is looking very white, so I'm gonna try and warm it up a little bit to match. I'm gonna be bronzing my whole body. But this is the base I'm starting with. I'm gonna get all nice and hydrated and bronzed up. I'm not gonna lie, I had a full on heat stroke when I went to Coachella last time. I remember, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, it was 36 degrees when I was there last and I was very unprepared for that heat. I don't do well in heat anyway and I, combusted and I laid on the floor of the Urban Decay house while many other larger, much more influential influencers were flouncing around in their beautiful gowns and Coachella outfits. And I was laying on the floor <laughs> like a flubbering salmon trying to get the coolness from the tiles on the floor. So um, that was my previous Coachella experience. <laughs> All right, MAC Face and Body. I use this in the shade C3. It's my deeper shade of the two that I have. And this is such a great foundation to use in the summertime, in the heat for Coachella, stuff like that, because it doesn't really budge too much when you sweat. And even if you do completely sweat it off, you don't get like harsh lines of foundation removal. It's just very skin-like and it has great longevity. I shouldn't have put my necklaces on already. What was I thinking? It's quite orangey yellow looking, but don't you fret. We'll, we'll even it out eventually. For concealer, one of my favorites to use when it's warmer out and again, if I were at Coachella, <laughs> is my RMS Uncover Up Concealer. I'm gonna take that underneath my eyes, just blend it in really quickly and easily with my finger. It's so simple to just plop on. I'm actually gonna go ahead and take my Tom Ford concealer and just use this. Just cause it's a lighter shade, I'm gonna put that into the center of my face just to brighten this up a bit. Just cause we did just turn ourselves into a raging pumpkin. <laughs> and I'm gonna blend that out with a sponge. So for bronzer, I love to use a good old cream bronzer in the hot weather. And I had actually picked up this new Tarte Breezy cream bronzer. They came out with a whole new line of things in this lovely little packaging here. I don't know what this reminds me of. It reminds me of like a butt, like a robot butt. <laughs> but I got this in the shade Seashells. Seashells? Seashells, Seashells. She sells, she sells, spider, she sells. Yeah, I wanted to give it a little a testy test. So I'm just gonna take my Smith 157 brush. That's nice. Wow. Oh, ooh, ooh, I'm excited about this. This is, this is looking great. I know it's only been like two seconds, but what a lovely little shade. How great. 
They also came out with a travel size for this shade. And I did pick that up too because I love travel size things. I'm such a sucker for travel size, even though there will be no travel for the foreseeable future. But uh, one can plan and be excited for the future, am I right? Just taking that along the edges of my foss where I would typically get more naturally tanned. My freckles always line the top of my forehead there. And then I'll take a little eyeshadow brush and just take that down my nose as well. This is very, very, very reminiscent of the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate shade that I have. I went a little crazy here. I just gotta blend that out a little bit. I'm just gonna take my sponge and go bloop, bloop, bloop around and rectify the situation. Okay, I love how that shade looks. I think it blended out so beautifully. I do want my contour to be a little bit, a little bit more intense on my cheek. This is Coachella after all. So I'm gonna take my Burberry face contour and I'm just gonna really intensify that cheekbone area just to make my cheeks poppin'. <laughs> There we go. That's much more intense, just the way I like it. <laughs> Highlighter, I'm gonna use the Nudies Glow in the shade Bubbly, baby. And I'm just gonna take that with my finger and press that on to the high points of my face. If I was in Palm Springs, my sweat would take over anything that a highlight would give. So I like that this one's a little bit more subtle and I probably wouldn't go for a powder highlight in that intense heat, you know? I'm gonna stick to the stick to the cream. For blush, I'm gonna take Nude Stick Sunset Strip, one of my favorite shades to use in the, in the summertime, me pretending it's summer. <laughs> I'm gonna blend that out with my e.l.f. Small Stipple Brush and really intensify those cheeks. My cheeks are getting all rosy from the sun, it's blending into my tan, like that's my, that's my favorite time. For a final little dusting of bronzer, I feel like I, I want some more bronze on here. I'm gonna take the new NARS Laguna bronzer. Look at this repackaging, how stunning. I'm gonna take my e.l.f. large stipple brush and I'm gonna run that over top. I'm not setting my makeup with powder, so I'm kind of just pretending like this bronzer is like my setting powder and I'm just adding another wave of warmth to the makeup. All right, the brows are on and I've zoomed you in nice and close to do the eyes. Now I know that people love to go crazy with festival makeup, um, but let's remember that it's me we're talking about here. And also I wouldn't do crazy makeup at Coachella anyway because I'd sweat it all off. So I'm gonna play safely with the eyes and I just wanted to do a little pink, a pink glitter eyeliner but it's still gonna be subdued. So starting with the NARS Afterglow palette, I'm going to take a little mixture of these two shades here, this brown and this little peachy moment. And I'm gonna make the, the crease nice and thick with that. And also take those two shades on the lower lash line. And the eyeliner I'm gonna use today is the Marc Jacobs Highliner in the shade Popular. Just start drawing the line we can always fix up the bottom later, which is exciting. And these, honestly, the Marc Jacobs highliners are so, they're so creamy and smooth and like very gentle on your eyelids. A lot of eyeliners can kind of pull and tug and scratch your eyeball. And I just feel so comfortable using these. They're so gentle and they glide across. I love them so much. So I'm gonna draw this liner and it's kind of nice because with this subtle pink, it's a little bit more forgiving. Like you can't really tell if I screw up an edge, you know? It's nice in that sense. I'm gonna also do the, the liner uh, a la Katie Jean Hughes style and bring that into the crease, creating this little V here. And then I just take a clean brush and I'm gonna pull the end out kind of sharpen that edge. I'll probably go over with concealer later, but for now I'm just making the end extra pointy. <laughs> now the other side. And there you have it, folks. There's the base of the liner. Now on top, I wanted to put this Urban Decay Heavy Metal Liner in the shade Volume, which is a really nice deeper pink with some gold speckles. And I basically just wanna turn this pink eyeliner glittery and put this all over top. Oh, it's made my, made my eyes water. Ooh, ooh.
Okay, so then for the inner corners, I'm gonna dip back into the Afterglow palette and use this gold and put that on the inner corner to make a little bit of a punching golden statement in her eye. What? All right, guys, so that's it for the eyes. Love the pink. I'm not gonna lie, Dan was a fan too. <laughs> so moving on to the lips. Listen, the last thing I'd wanna do if I'm sweating in a desert is worry about a bold lip smearing all over my face and touching it up. Like, I just, I wanna be free at a festival. So for a lip, I would definitely do the most chill lip out there. We want a long wearing liner for sure. I'm gonna use MAC Strip Down, good old, good old classic. And I'm just like rubbing it all over. I apply it so thickly and then I take my finger and I smear it all over. And then I'm gonna take the Patrick Toshi's expensive gloss. Ooh, that is tainted from whatever I put that on top of last time. <laughs> and just put a lovely little glittery gloss. And I'm gonna touch up a few of my curls as well. I did my hair with the Dyson Corel. And I love that it gives these like very undone waves. So I'm gonna touch them up a little bit on the back of my head. All right, everyone, that is the makeup and hair done. Let us begin the Coachella fashion show. What I would have worn to Coachella. <laughs>